So I've decided I'm going to use some coconut milk powder in this. So I'm going to mix this first into my oils. And I'm going to be pushing it with these, um, this bucket with the height of it, but we should be all right. <laughs> And I'm not going to use any colour in this soap, so it's just this milk, so I'm just going to disperse that into the oil. sure if it's going to go sort of like a tan colour. I don't think it will go dark brown but it might go tan which is fine <clears throat> excuse me which is fine if it does that but that's why adding no uh, colour when you're using a new blend is probably the best way to go and then see how it goes if I make this one again so so it's got a really lovely, strong, almost like a pumpkin maple and oatmeal, milk and honey for the porridge and cinnamon leaf essential oil and then apple strudel fragrance. So there's a combination of a few different ones in there. Let's see. Not going to stick blend that in because I don't want it to thicken too quick now. Okay, we're ready to pour. Excuse the mess I make. Let's go very carefully with the first one because of this bucket. I'm going to do the usual top, obviously they're just plain bars. So we just had our annual fair here at the weekend, so that was nice. Me and Matt had a walk around. It's a little bit rough. <laughs> but we got some candy floss and it was good fun. We had a good laugh. Um, the one good thing about where we're living now is there's some really, really lovely country walks, like a lot more than we had before. We're just on the other side of town in a little parish called Hampton. Um, and it's just got a really lovely, cosy feeling. So. I'm really appreciating having the countryside right on the back of us. And this morning I was lying in bed early. Matt had to get up early today to um, go and fire the kiln at the pottery. So he was up at half four, I think it was. <laughs> he wanted to get to work for six. So he gets up and, of course, you wake up because 
that's just what happens. Um, and I lay there for a minute and uh, I could hear the owls outside and we've never ever had that in the 20 years living in our old house I've never heard the owls and in this place we've heard them frequently so it's just a it's just so nice to hear that outside your bedroom window you know we get a lot of traffic on the front where we live but to hear the owls this morning I was like I can hear them and at night time I open up the big back windows in the bedroom like out the back and just sort of sit and stargaze and it's just absolutely lovely so yes I am very 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 grateful don't get me wrong I know I've, like I've explained you know I've had some issues but it doesn't take away how grateful I am for my life you know the reality is I've got a wonderful wonderful life actually and I am grateful for it okay so I'm just gonna do this across the top so that milk might make this heat up I can feel the heat actually flying off of that <laughs> Smells so good. I think just to finish it, I might do a little sprinkle of tea. I'll use a little black tea I have here. Sometimes just uh, just add a little something. It doesn't look too boring, you know. I'll take it out of the jar. If you can hear any noise, that's my dog. She's not normally here when I'm making, but I'm just doing this quick before the end of the day. And we're going to walk home in a minute. So traffic has just been so ridiculous in town. I don't know what's going on with traffic today, but they are everywhere. And not to mention the stupid fuel shortage. So I've been walking because I'm just not buying into the narrative that the media are putting out there about how there's no fuel. It's just, uh, there's no fuel because you've made it so. Because <laughs> everybody's gone out and bought it. So I did try and get some fuel yesterday just so I could uh, get around and I couldn't get any. So I thought, okay, I'll walk everywhere and that's fine. I'll just wait till this silly mess is over and we'll go from there. I'm not uh, going to be desperately trying to get a tank of fuel, you know. Just proves how the media love to stir it all up and make everything ridiculously stupid. And if people weren't so easily led and gullible, then these issues wouldn't happen. But they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing to people. It just amazes me how people can be so controlled. But they can. Okay, right, so there we go. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. I don't know if I'm going to call it autumn breakfast or what, but um, it certainly smells like my autumn breakfast, but I think I'd like to come up with a slightly better name than that. So I'll be back tomorrow to cut it and um, we'll carry on and see what else we're going to make next time. So it's good to be back and thank you for hanging in there with me and I'll see you very soon. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. In a minute actually because this video is going to continue on so i'll see you in a sec okay i'm back so i think it's discolored a little bit since yesterday just slightly so chances are that it might go a um i'd say a light tan maybe we'll have to see what it's like inside and then we can determine what it might end up like in the end when it's cured. Okay, so when you use milk, sometimes it puts like a speckled effect in the soap. You can see like that. Now, I'm just going to trim those edges so I don't have to do each individual bar. I 
sometimes forget to do this a little bit and it really helps when I remember. And then we're going to cut with the T facing me so I don't get drag marks through the soap. I'm just going to cut the one. loaf okay. so overall I guess it's a sort of natural wholesome looking type of soap and it smells so so good it's almost got like a, a cidery sort of a scent but that'll be the apple like the apple strudel coming through, but it's definitely got the oatmeal and the cinnamon. It's very light in there because I don't use much cinnamon, of course, because of the uh, allergen content. Um, but yeah, it's got, yeah, all of those, it's just very, very autumnal. It's really, yeah, homey, like a real homely scent. I'm liking that. It'd be nice for the transition from autumn into winter, actually. A very warm smell. One for me to save for when I get my new bath. So our bath is going in yeah, the first week of November and I think it will take about a week and a half to do the bathroom. And I cannot wait. I have not been able to buy any Lush products for the bath for... And the three months I've not had a bath because we've only got a shower in our house so I've really really missed my um, Lush products and just having a real nice soak in the bath so I'm really I can't tell you I'm really looking forward to it like really looking forward to it I cannot wait so it'd be so nice so having a new shower a new bath new sink a new toilet everything okay so here is my autumn breakfast soap Again, I don't know what to call it yet, but um, we shall see. Also, I've just um, joined the app Vero. Some of you might be aware Instagram and Facebook went down last night. And so I was reading some posts. So I've chosen to go on to Vero, which is this app here. And my profile is... Uh, future prim so if you want to come and follow me on Vero I'll follow you all back each each person that follows me I'm going to follow back just so I've got something in my feed because at the moment there's not much on there but um well not that I found anyway but Vero seems to be a really good app so they say that it is algorithm free ad free and all posts get put up in chronological order like Instagram used to be before they started to monetize everything like these big companies do um, so yeah, it's sort of picking up where Instagram left off then and went to join the bigwigs and when things go down like that and you're relying on social media, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a day, it doesn't matter, but you never know, it could go for longer at some point and these big companies, they know what they're doing. So I um, always like to try new apps and you know see how they go so join me on Vero if you're on Vero if you're not on Vero join Vero and we'll sort of create a community on there which would be quite nice and something different from Instagram or Facebook which you know they become stale over time so I'm on Vero so come and join me there and I will see you for the next video and I'll leave you with some pictures at the end and see you soon ta-ta